DWS, we're known uh, for craftsmanship, attention to details. We are kind of an old school hot rod shop. We're trying to blend old school with new school a bit here. I really want to make some cars that perform and look good and they're different and I don't want it to look like everybody else's stuff, most of all. Our current project that we've got here in the shop right now, it's a 64 Chevy pickup, a little short bed fleet side, big back window cab, which is kind of cool and different. But we've got a whole lot of time and a lot of work over this hood, and we've got a pretty sweet little flange goes all the way around. When you open the hood, we've got a really cool inner structure and some pretty badass craftsmanship. And then this inner structure here, it looks good, it's functional. We've lost a little weight with the dimples. It's all boxed in, so it's very sturdy. Our hood's not gonna fold up like a taco or a cheap suit when you go to open or close it. These here are our Hillborn Injection Velocity Stacks. The longer they are, the more torque you get out of them. If you're hauling ass, we got plenty of torque. Another cool thing about our truck is the Eddy Motorsports polished hinges. These things are so cool, they're really a nice piece. And one of the nice things, besides the quality and the nice polishing, got a little gas charge strut here that makes the hood open and close nice and smooth. The hinges overall, they're works of art, <laughs> in all honesty. We've got these big Falcon 315 3520s on this thing. Right here, these big 20 by 11 inch Budnick wheels. Got our four wheel disc brakes from CPP, Dutchman axles for some serious strength. And the theme on the truck, we've got a red interior, We've got a red bed. We have red calipers, just something to keep it all uniform, keep it tied together. We want to do something special with the bed and with the wood. So we're going to have a clear red finish, like a Gibson guitar. You'll see our nice laminated uh, tiger stripe looking oak uh, over the top of it. The SEMA Battle of the Builders, it's a huge show for us. Trophies aren't really important, but if I'm going to get trophies, I want them from big shows. Being considered for SEMA's Battle of the Builders is a pretty big deal. It's a big honor. We're trying to make it in the big pond with the big fish, and this show opens it up to us little guys. If we won the SEMA Battle of the Builders, it's unimaginable, really, you know, some of the big guys and the big budgets and all this stuff that we're going up against. I would love for it to happen, but uh, I think we'd uh, pull up quite, quite the upset if we did.